Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and I've just gone from doing my biggest acrylic pour ever, my biggest canvas, to a small one because I have some leftovers and I want to use them up. I scraped up all my paints from the, um, from the last pour and I've ended up with a dark grey, sort of a charcoal-y colour um, with a little bit of shine in it. I've also got my bronze, my gold, my champagne gold and a pearl colour and I had some silver but I've added in some pretty blues. I've added in this uh, metallic aquamarine extreme sheen by Deco Art and this Prussian phthalo blue and come up with this beautiful colour. So I'm hoping that's enough because I think that's going to be really pretty. And I'm just going to do some puddles and some swipes. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to do puddles. I hope I've got enough of this pretty blue. I'm going to start with that. I want two puddles of that. Maybe we'll do tiny puddles. I've lightened this uh, gold a little bit, a bit more of a cream to it. And I've got a couple of different swipe mixes. Mm, we haven't got actually much coloured paint at all. It's quite a bit of this. So I'm going to do that in my corners. There we go, like that. And oh, this is a good way to use up the colours. bit light through the middle maybe we'll just put a bit of that champagne gold in there there was no real plan with this so the blue looks like it's bleeding a bit yeah that one's finished and that one's finished That was just very random. <laughs> uh. All right, I'm going to swipe white through here. I'm just going to add a bit more grey here. Yeah. Even though it's a small canvas, it needs um needs a little bit. All right. Wow, that's pretty. I feel like I want to do white again. Yeah, let's do white again. Fortunately, I didn't get very much at the bronze. So, I might just see. I can just scrape a little bit up here.
Mm. It's a lot more blue than I expected. I'm trying to add in a little bit of the more goldy colour. It's really pretty, but that's going. Okay. All right. There we go. Goodness me. Here. So this is predominantly that blue colour, but it actually works. Darkness back down here. Mm. Yep. Balance. That's good. Different. Hmm. We've still got plenty of that uh, grey left though, so I'm going to have to seal that up, I think. Okay. I'll bring you in for a wet look. Okay, here is the wet result and uh, a lot more blue than I was trying for. I mean, I was trying to get the blue, but um, it ended up being a lot more, but that's okay. Sometimes a dominant color is fine and it's got this sort of sandy color. This is really making me want to do another ocean swipe. It's been a while. And this is looking pretty cool. Check this out over here. There's um, there's the champagne gold is poking through the the sandy color, which is interesting. And over here, it looks like it's kind of the blues like cracking and the sands coming through, kind of thing. So that could look actually quite interesting when it dries. So yeah, I'll bring you back for the dry result. Okay, here is the dry result. Now I'll show you the shine. So pretty. And if you have a look up here, see the champagne gold is like shining through the sandy color. 
it's pretty cool and the lacing oh lots of shine the lacing is really pretty through there i've got some bold white lacing over here and this is really interesting through here this is kind of like a reef that's the way i see it the beautiful ocean with the lacing and then some sandy parts yeah i feel like it's like got some sort of sandbar or something maybe going through some uh i think my daughter said a peninsula yeah so it's pretty cool and going into this one i had uh no real plan of what i was going to do uh, i just wanted to use up my leftover paints and made this pretty blue and hey presto it's quite nice so um let me know what you think in the comments below and if you like that one um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up be much appreciated and i shall see you all in the next one bye